Welcome to round two of four at the MVP Open at Maple Hill. It was a blustery morning out here. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Sinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Honk. Yeah. Cold, 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 cold. Chilly and windy, but sunny. So nice to look at. Hopefully you're at home bundled up in a blanket with your pumpkin spice latte or whatever. <laughs> we definitely all have hand warmers, jackets, beanies, the whole nine yards. Cat merch, Kristen Tatar, Evelina Salonen, and Missy Gannon will be out here battling the harsh conditions. Cat merch shooting the hot round at two down yesterday. Kristen Tatar just behind her with one under par. Starting out with the hardest hole on the course. Hole Yay. one. It played the hardest yesterday. Again, the hardest today was a ripping headwind. So making it over this pond was very hard. By 320 to cross the water and your discs just don't want to cooperate. Second shot, you either want to lay to the mouth of the gap or if you can get far enough off the tee, maybe you can penetrate into the green. There's out of bounds all the way around this little keyhole shape. Um, it's a peninsula in the woods. Lots of ground play can happen off those wood chips. I'm glad the wind is speaking for itself. I know. Sometimes we say it's windy and it doesn't look that windy. Cat Merch with a two under across an eight hour round yesterday. <laughs> it was a thousand seven rated. I believe she's going destroyer here. And look at that Whoa. thing. It's a destroyer and it's but overstable and by. It's possible it's a wraith, but I think it's destroyer. No, Great she, distance. No, she definitely threw destroyer off this tee. She's way down there. Somewhere. We're all just like, what do we do? Look at Kristen's face. Like, what do I? Okay. She's going rive here. And this is a really common play to just go to the left side. If you don't get too far into the Christmas trees, um, it's a great play for par. Yep. Kind but of a safer bailout sort of a move. You know Evelina's going destroyer here. This is a north wind, so it was very chilly. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> wow. Little elevator action. So she's going that left side as well. She'll be tangled up in the trees a bit. Miss Missy throwing an ESP Zeus. I feel like everyone's got like a little smile on their face because we're all like, <laughs> we don't like... You yeah. can't, you have no control here. You're just like, I'm going to do my best. And after I let go, we'll see what happens. Uh huh. There we go. That looks more like a oh. shot. <laughs> Gets a little bit of wind lift. Yeah, Missy's definitely in crusher territory. Cat way down to the right side. She's almost looking. Sideways, that might be heading towards Ooh, out of bounds. Yeah, or at least really pinched off on the right. Going to be difficult to get to the green I for a par. I couldn't quite tell where she was even. She was like on the screen left side, right side fairway, so far. So this one, that's a great shot. You're kind of aiming at this one little pine tree that's at the gap. Um, otherwise, it's kind of hard to tell. You, you almost have to saw it off from there and you're thrown over trees. So that was pretty well done. Erroring on the left side of the gap is better than the right. But There's the right happens easier. Yes. Like this is too far right, I think. Unless it, eh? oh, Just kidding, fine. it's perfect. Yeah. Um, the left side has a few more holes, I would say, and it kind of opens up angling towards the basket better. Evelyn is so, is, it, is this her second shot? Is that her drive? Oh, yeah, it ha that has to be your second shot. And then, yep, she's out of bounds. Okay. You're going to have to take it from that awkward corner. Kristen's third. Parked. This hole had only 29% of the field taking a par, 69% taking a bogey or worse. Cat <clears throat> trying to go through the little gap and nodding her head. It's tricky. Missy's third shot up to the green, no problem. Nice. Cat taking it from where she last crossed. Trying to get it close. That's when you like the asset walls. <laughs> Evelina just a little right. There was only one birdie on the day today. 
by Hannah Blomroos. But Missy and Kristen definitely gaining strokes on the field with their pars. Absolutely. This is one where if you just take a single bogey, you're like, okay. I killed it. Yeah. Yeah, it happened so fast. Cat taking a triple bogey there. Evelina for double. Dang. There's only three triple bogeys on the day. Sadly, we're going to see two of them here. Ouch. But out of all the holes, you know, this is the one to do it on, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Great pars from Kristen and Missy, though. Hole two is a par three. It's 299 feet. It's pretty dead straight. The rock wall on the right is out of bounds, so that's kind of the main issue. You see most uh, errors occur on the left, kind of in that grove of trees, which can be hard to scramble out of. You really just want to throw straight and try to get over that final little asset wall and um, little rock wall as well. Get a putt. Erring left into those trees is okay. It's pretty easy to scramble for your par from there, just depending mm. on where you land. It's but it's easier than uh, the rock wall. Well, yeah, it's doable <laughs> for sure, but not always easy. Missy not quite turning it. This is um, a tailwind coming back, so it's going to stable the discs out to the left. Missy probably going to be able to scramble. If you're in that ditch, you're really not very far. Probably, what, 60 feet maybe? That yeah. looks like a better line. Yeah, that's a great looking shot. Might maybe deep. Yeah, she was wow. there yesterday too. That's exactly where Paige was today too. That's uh, the her, landing zone. Her Thunderbird, I believe, which is like magic. It has this late flip. That's unbelievable. Evelina getting a good angle on the disc, but <laughs> a wrong release line. <laughs> she is still flying. Ooh, I didn't Awkward. realize she was early. That's a lot Ooh. of trust it towards it. out of bounds. Ooh. Oh, my yes. goodness. Trusty heart. You just got to believe, you know? Believe, Evelina. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Good Beautiful. Line. This plate is the easiest hole on the course. Mostly More? just... Wow. Yeah, I know. I think it's because it was pretty blocked. Uh, from the wind, and also it's pretty short. And also every hole is hard. Yeah, well, and this one too, it's, yeah. There's just w weren't any bogeys. Yeah. There were no, almost no bogeys on this hole. I think, Usit, I think that today's gonna play harder than yesterday. Oh, despite yeah. Despite yesterday's rain and delays and all that, the wind is just. So basically the Ooh. front nine, you can feel the wind on almost every hole. There's a few on the back nine where you definitely feel it as well, but the front nine, it's almost every hole. Mm -hmm. We're playing along the water and it's just wide open. There's no breaks. Everyone on our lead card getting pars on this one. Yeah. Hole three is a finesse, kind of a force flex, or maybe a hyzer flip um, with some nice turn type of a hole. It's uphill, so it plays longer than the 354 listed. It is definitely reachable though. It's a pretty tight gap off the tee. So this one's mostly just about focusing off that initial gap and then trying to avoid the little guardian trees along the way. And that's almost good. So close. Yeah. I think being right side is slightly easier to scramble than yeah. left side. Early left is pretty brutal. Yeah, the right has bigger gaps to try to attack. Missy with a thrasher. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Doesn't quite fade at the end, but she's pin high. She'll have an uphill look at the green. Cat mm. kind of force turning it. Yeah. I wonder what that was. I'm curious about the uh, stability. Was it pink? It was blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good shot. Oh, no, it was pink. My bad. This is a rhino. <laughs> Man, you made me feel so crazy. It was definitely pink. So it was a destroyer. Um, I didn't say that. Nope. I think it was an X cow. Okay. Okay. Hence the extreme angle. 
That's a great upshot to the bullseye. Kristen stretched out here, working that forehand again. Oh, yeah. Only two competitors landing in circle one off the tee, and only five landing in circle two off the tee. So this hole played tough. It always does. Missy, I think, circle's edge, maybe just inside. There were only two birdies on the day, Holland Hanley and Kona Panis getting the two. Bonus birdie, mm -hmm. for sure. Missy for par. Holland got this one two days in a row. Wait a second. Was that her birdie look? No, I think that was, that was after an approach. Man. I think. <laughs> We're a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Checks out. Evelina with the only par there. Everyone else bogey. Hole four is the shortest hole, I believe, on the course at 246, but not the easiest. This tight little gap is <laughs> so tough. There is kind of a right side hyzer gap, um, but you got to get a little lucky. So you stand still backhand or maybe a, a little run up. You see some flip up forehands. Um, Thumber is in play, but you don't really see many women do that. It's a common MPO play. I like the forehand. I feel like the shape is there for it. That's good if it sits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Evelina throwing AVR3 there. Oh, I'm Is, telling you. Did that miss the Mando? No, I'm not sure. I actually forgot there was a Mando. Definitely grip locked. Um, the, it was so cold out there. <laughs> like we're, we yeah, might see brisk. some crazy things. We definitely it got up to a nice 50 degrees with a very <laughs> cold 15 mile an hour north wind. Yeah. Missy got um, pretty much pin high left. Should be an easy par, hopefully. <laughs> Cat using the body English. Makes it halfway down with a pretty open look, hopefully. Ooh, Ooh she is right next to the Mando. And a little short on the upshot. It'll be a tough bogey putt. Cat trying to flex one down to the green. This one's a little scary. She wants to keep it nice and low. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Really nice. <laughs> I see not trying anything crazy, and she checks up inside the bullseye. I wanted to run it. <laughs> wanted to run it. Kristen definitely running it. Got to. Hard to commit, though, with that water right there. Evelina for birdie. And that's going to be a tough comebacker for par. These little elevated greens right by the water can be so brutal mentally. <laughs> yeah. A nice par save from Kat yeah, from about halfway up the fairway. Great scramble. Evelina with a bogey. Going to be a double for Kristen. Only six birdies on the day here, but f almost 40% of the field taking a bogey or worse. That played way differently than yesterday. Yeah. The screaming head when making everyone think a little too hard, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Hole five. There's this route that the drone's flying that is a little bit scary. It is more opened up than in years past. There's also a hyzer route that's a lot safer. And then a big forehand or turnover backhand over the water that carries all the way to the green. If you do not land safe, though, there's a drop zone. And it's pretty punishing. It's a tough shot. Um, it's like 150 feet over the water. Mm-hmm. 
and just cr trying to crash back in over an asset wall. Missy taking the route that I think most FPO players take. It's definitely the safest, but the upshot can be pretty tricky if you don't get to where Missy is. Like if you land a little short, it gets really hard. Yeah, it's all about scrambling on this hole. Uh, you won't see r many people landing inside the circle necessarily off the tee unless they go out over the water. You're pretty much removing your ability to birdie by taking that safe route. Yeah, you kind of have to get lucky mm -hmm. the last little bit taking the hyzer route. The straight route, you can actually get there, but it's almost as risky as this, which was an awesome shot from Evelina. Yeah, it says that 10% of the field uh, which is four people landed inside the circle, and I bet you all of them went this route. Yeah. Whoa. It was a little more inside than Evelina's. What a great shot. That was a grace. Evelina threw Destroyer. Missy, you, you can see all these trees in her way. I'm gonna try to sneak through or go all the way around them. That's pretty typical, mm -hmm. trying to approach this green, and Gosh. you're left with a circle's edge just out, I said, outside the circle death putt. Look at those flags ripping. Yeah, this green was one of the most brutal on the day. Cat with a decent layup with her rhino. Kristen for birdie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look at the win. Are you kidding me? From a knee, too, onto an elevated basket. That's unbelievable. Impressive. Oh, I'm glad we get to see this again. Yep, GK replay. Yes. And that's like, that's all arm. Yeah. All arm, of, all wrist. All, yeah, a lot of wrist. Wow. It's funny that the gust came in right after. Look at her. For the Beyonce Hair moment. The wind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Missy for par, just inside the circle. Yeah, there are only three birdies on the day today. Evelina just choosing a layup as well, even with that. Holland Hanley and Hannah Wynn getting the other twos. Missy with a bogey. Cat with a nice par. Evelina just taking par with that layup. Let's check in. Ooh, Holland Hanley three down through eight. That is so good. That's amazing. Look at everyone else over par. Paige Pierce managing to stay even. Yeah, it it was it was a rough day out there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Maple Hill's hard already on its own, but then you add yeah. that much wind. I on mean, a, a perfectly calm day, it's so demanding. Mm -hmm. Hole six is another dead straight par three. It's three fifteen. Once again, rock wall right is OB. There's also water left if you get an unlucky skip. It's really hard to get something all the way through where this drone is flying in the intended gap. You see a lot of people throw towards it and just kind of hyzer out to the left. I think a flex forehand is the best way to get there, but it feels scary to fade towards that out of bounds. This plate is the second most difficult hole of the day, and it's because we had an extreme left to right crosswind, which pushes backhand turnovers out of bounds and makes everything else feel crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're Kristen. And then you just, you know, throw a verdict and get to circle two. Easy. Yeah, that was a really nice little layup. Cat trying to work the flex, catches a tree. Give her a, give her green. Yeah, and that thing's way over. I didn't see where it, I thought it might have fallen. Yeah, I got a pretty bad, huge kick. Yeah, it happens. You have to be so aggressive on this hole. Um, I love it. That play. Yeah, Stan Lowe is super smart. Mm -hmm. Her and Kristen with really great touch. It's still such a tough shot, even though it's quote unquote a layup. It's like the hardest layup you'll ever do. <laughs> yeah, just like a 300, well, 275 foot pure straight layup with OB everywhere. <laughs> oh, this looks great from Missy. Yeah, you really have to ride that right side wall to not fade too far into the left trees. That was great. Cat throwing three with her out of bounds stroke. Looks like she's lining up the left side, maybe? Yeah, gonna go all the way around? Yeah, there's some luck involved there. It's a pretty thick wall. And once you get right in this spot where we see Evelina throwing from, there's just not much to work with. Yeah, and, and that was a great drive from Evelina, too. Oh. 
She's Man. out of bounds. Did she catch a tree or did she just threw it a little hard? I, I kind of lost it up high. I think she just threw it high and the wind kind of took it out. Yep, yep. Cat laying up pretty close. Even that one in the wind, you know, you have to think about it a little more than normal. This would be an unbelievable birdie. But a very believable par. 38% <laughs> of the field taking a par, 60% taking a bogey. There was only one birdie on the day. Let's see if Missy can do it. Man, that was quite the gust. Alex Benson was the only one to get it today. Awesome. Evelina trying to save bogey. Oh, what a nice, confident bid. Even in the wind. Nice angle. Double for Cat. They just stack up quick out here, folks. <laughs> I feel like we sound defeated on the mic. <laughs> I, uh, I don't disagree with him. <laughs> it was rough out there. It is strange wa watching the lead card, too, take a bunch of bogeys. Yeah, I feel like this course can be very scorable. These chess matches, every stroke matters. This looks great. Unbelievable, the shot by Valerie. Hole seven, uphill, 276, plays closer to 300 or maybe a little bit more than that. Very, very narrow fairway. That's the key here. You don't want to go early left. Missing to the right, I think, is a little bit better, but it does bring a hill into the equation, so it's more of an uphill putt. Um, this one is an ace hole. Everyone can ace it. Everyone can reach it. Definitely one you want to get. The wind was blocked a little bit here, so mm -hmm. um, it was one of the few where you were feeling real confident, not thinking about the wind. I think the main thing is to throw straight up the road. It kind of tricks you into thinking, like, oh, I'm going to hyzer it, but... Just straight is, is gold. Mm -hmm. Where Kristen is early right is going to be really tough to scramble for par. That basket you can see straight ahead is the MPO basket. Not the one we're going to. Missy kind of showing the way. She hyzers out early. She'll probably be in circle two. Or at least close. Yeah. Almost. Almost the line. You don't really need a flex. You just needed to push straight for ah. a while. That was also really close from Cat. Just catches one of the last guardian trees. She's almost pin high though. Maybe even in circle two. Dang it. Yeah, 20% of the field finding circle one for birdie. But no one on the lead card. Yeah, and some of these are gonna be kind of tough. Dang, I didn't realize how brutal it was over there. Yeah, it can be bad. I think, I don't know. I was going to say, I think this might be worse. But that was a really good out from Evelina. Missy with kind of a reverse patent pending. Oh, pretty steeply uphill. Oops. Bluffs is it. Oops. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. We all have little icicle brick hands today. A nice little chip approach. Missy for a par save. Mm. Evelina for her par save. Oh. 
Man, you know it's tough when the best in the world are <laughs> just taking strokes. Yeah, and this is the Whatever. third easiest hole on the course too, so it's oh. just, it's just, it's weird. Yeah, only 12% of the field birdied this one, and that is what made it the easy, one of the easier holes on the course. So <laughs> it played so rough out there today. Oh, everyone's feeling beat down, especially after a long day yesterday. All right, hole eight. This Yay. is where you get hyped. You start with a slow clap. You carry about 280 feet of water, uh, ripping headwind today. So definitely tough to get it across. If you miss, there is a drop zone. Yay. Yes. I was hoping we get to see Yay. it. That's Zach Benson, leader oh. of the eight holes. <laughs> if you can't tell by the crown. Crown Prince. I guess King. <laughs> And we all love the eight holes. Yeah. We can hear them all day on the course. It's amazing. I was, yeah, the first card out, um, embarrassingly, but they were out there ready to go. <laughs> I think that's a Hawkeye. That's a pretty typical from what I saw today. Yeah, the headwind is turning them over. It's kind of left to right as well. So if you showed the underside of your disc, it was gone. <laughs> That's kind of the play. It's got a chance. Yeah, throwing something over stable and hoping it crashes onto the left side of the green. Just faded a little too much for Kristen. Let's see if Missy can do it. This plate is the fourth most difficult hole. Yeah, it was tough to land on, on the island today. That's a Zeus from Missy. Looking pretty good, just needs to stick. Yeah. Wow. Evelina kind of ripping over on the disc, Ooh. but this thing's a beefcake. It's a Thunderbird. Nice. Great shot. Looks like it's not, well, I was going to say it's not too horribly windy, but it is. It, is. it still is. Cat just choosing to lay up. If you really run this putt, you can find the water quickly. 28% of the field finding circle one. 25 finding circle two. So that's about, about how many people made it. Sit down. 71% of the field taking a bogey or worse. Wow. Wow. Missy for two. I think she's just outside the circle. Good effort. There were only five birdies on the day. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's crazy. See if Evelina can get one. She's just inside. Mm. It, these stats are blowing my mind. Every, I, I, I felt like I was the alone and the only one struggling. No, no. But it was everyone. It's so weird to see Kristen make, like, multiple mistakes, you know? Yeah, not used to it. No, I th there's there's a lot going on into season two. You can only be perfect for so long. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's so, spoken from experience. Per yeah, perfection is <laughs> unsustainable. Spoken from experience directly. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, keeping it to a single bogey from the drop zone is that's the best you can do, really. And par feels well, amazing on yeah. any hole at this moment. That is true. Hole nine, love this hole. 400 feet, but plays way longer than that because of how technical it is. It's a straight shot with a slower speed disc, slower fairway, or a, uh, maybe a mid up to the top of the hill. The further you get, the more uh, downhill your shot is towards the green. There's an out-of-bounds creek uh, that goes right in front of the basket and wraps around on the right-hand side. You don't want to come in too hot because it can make putting tough coming back so ideally just creeping over this little out of bounds um creek is perfect the basket's elevated too just to add an, another level of interest this plate is the third most difficult hole which is surprising to me because the wind was pretty blocked on most of the hole yeah but the trees make it hard <laughs> <laughs> that's true that was a decent shot. It can be a little guarded over there, but, you know, direct line to the pin.
Where'd it go? I don't know. We'll see. I, yeah, I lost it. Somewhere in there. <laughs> I love the sidearm. It's definitely a little aggressive to try to wrap around the corner, but can pay off. This was pulled a little bit. It's kind of rough on that left side early. Mm-hmm. Probably will force to just pitch up for par. And that's a ride. This is going big here. And I love it. It doesn't catch any trees. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Hopefully she's got a clear line. Looks like it. Yeah. And this is, oh, man, it's rough to get all the way to the top of the hill, and then you don't have much. This is very touchy, very downhill, trees in the way. That'll work. It's yeah. going to be a tough little shot to the green. There are routes over there. Mm -hmm. I love all the mushrooms on that tree. Go back. <laughs> Evelina just chipping up as well, hoping to check up. Just that was, out about. Yeah, that was well done. I feel like a lot of people who do the layup kind of get a little too aggressive and can find the out of bounds. Evelina just trusting her next shot. If you push the out of bounds, you can uh, leave yourself with almost an inside the circle putt. <sighs> missing, missing the intended gap, coming up short. Kristen's second shot. Hmm. Sidearm here is an interesting choice. She always does this, like where most people would throw a backhand. She just leans on that sidearm. It was so close. Great line, just catches the last tree. Got to go with what you trust. Yeah. I see. Rowan three? Yep, has about 100 feet to the basket. Straight oh, down no, no, hill. No, 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 that's low. It's really easy on the screen, too, to get a straight skip. Um, but the out-of-bounds doesn't wrap super, super tight to the left side. Yeah, but there's trees there. Yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting about them. Ooh, I mushroom know. tree. All right. Trees seemed like the least of my worries today. Yeah, that's fair. Evelina laying up really nicely for par there. There were four birdies today. Valerie Bandahano, Ella Hansen, Natalie Ryan, and Hannah Wynn. Missy for bogey, I believe. Yeah, that sounds like math. And Kristen for her bogey. Or no, actually for par. Yeah, that was for par. Okay. Because her drive was so far. And Missy coming back for double, for double yeah. super death putt at this elevated basket. Boom. Nice. Yeah, in this wind, the kind of gimme putts move in about five feet at least. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like your 20 footers feel pretty nervy. Right, we've had a majority taking bogey on almost every hole, which is fun. A little scary <laughs> <laughs> to look at. And that was it. That was the front nine and ouch. Kristen yeah. Tatar literally finding the only birdie on the lead card. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so weird. Yeah, Evelina plus seven, Kat plus eight, Missy plus five, Kristen plus six. Every hole in the course besides hole two averaging over par. And all and of these ladies have, yeah, dropped down to fourth or lower. So we get some chase card ladies and other ladies moving on up. Holland Hanley still under par through 10. Very impressive. Super impressive. She, if she holds on, she'll be, I bet, the only one. Yeah. I'd be shocked to see many people under par today. Missy Valadie is having a chance, plus one. Everyone else, it's going to be tough. The back is a little bit more guarded, though, so yeah. there are birdies. They're just hard. Yeah, a, lot, a little bit less wind. There's a couple zinger holes, but we have a lot more action to watch. Thanks for hanging out on the front in round two of four. Thanks again to our VIP members. We'll see you guys on the back. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Oh.